some movie is coming netflix are going to start this movie about messiah there is this actor whose name is mehdi and he acts like the jal everything he does says seems to be taken from the hadith of the jal but he doesn't say the name the jal now we have to remember that this is not the first movie they had movies about the jal before as well like the old man and old man 1 and old man 2 where a young boy seems like the jal and he does some extraordinary things so these movies have been coming from before as well so there should not be a craze about this movie it, it is their habit they going to make such movies they'll be worse so we should educate our community and teach them that don't fall for these things they are targeted towards you and you should be wise enough not to watch these things avoid them these things weaken our iman they really weaken our iman they stop us from maybe praying namaz what's the point is going to happen and our iman is we start we can we start objecting on allah why does allah doing this why does allah need to send the jal so then you don't have any knowledge you can't find the answers and you leave iman nauz billah you apostatize allah protect us so don't watch these in fact any movies why watch movies movies are filled with these types of things movies are not just random thing they are they are fictions and there is a whole team behind it who devise and design exa- every word of that movie is script is written everything is made and it takes many many months and years to make one movie so there's a lot of effort going on behind it and uh, they make money out of it and the more you watch it the more money they make so with regards to such movies just stay away from them if families can sit down and talk among themselves do ta'lim in the house explain to the kids that this is not right that would be nice you know on one of our groups from us some ulama suggested that the families to sit down together and watch it ya allah that means do guna collectively But we should sit down and do tawba, istighfar, ruju ila Allah, inabat ila Allah, turn to Allah. And uh, we shouldn't have the TV and these things in our homes. Avoid it, you know. And tell our children not to watch that stuff. We should come to Allah, do zikr, tasbihat, go for hajj, go for umrah. And you know, increase your connection with Allah. Get bayat to a shaykh, get your child bayat to a shaykh. Make him do zikr of Allah. and you know create fear of allah in him this is what is uma yus nusir bil ayat illa takhwifa the jal is going to come to you know create some fear in the fearless people another point someone said very good as well that if people can't stop themselves from watching these movies how are they going to stop themselves from following the jal it is these people who will rush after the jal who will believe in him very quickly because their iman is weak So if they fall for these movies, then they're gonna fall for the jal more. This is why Prophet Salah Salam said that the jal is the greatest fitna from Adam to Islam until the day of Qiyamah. So main thing is to desist, to stop, don't watch it. These movies have come before. Worse will come. Keep moving in your route. You know, keep your connection with Allah strong, and uh, educate people, and uh, tell them that these are signs. that they are after our iman you know wala yazaluna yuqatilunakum hatta yarudduukum an deenikum in istata'u wa man yartadid minkum an deenihi fayamut wa huwa kafir fa ulaika habitat a'maluhum fid dunya wal akhirah wa ulaika ashabun nari hum fiha khalidun and over here qital does not mean just fight with sword they will fight you in every way until they turn you away from your deen if they were able to do so so this is a a war a war of intelligence a war of intellect a war on our iman a war between iman and kufr so we have to be intelligent and fight this intellectual war and win it 
and don't fall for the traps of such movies and the jali fitnas. Protect your iman, you know, turn to Allah, do zikr, tawbah, istighfar, and read the dua. Allahumma inni inna na'uzu bika min al-fitan ma zahara minha wa ma batan. Allahumma inna na'uzu bika min azab jahannam wa na'uzu bika min azab al-qabr wa na'uzu bika min fitnat al-muhya wal mamat wa na'uzu bika min sharr fitnat al-masih al-dajjal. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever hears about the Dajjal, then he should run away from him. Man sami'a bi Dajjal fal yana' minhu. It's in Bishka Sharif. That uh, run away from him. Because the person will think, oh, my iman is safe. So no, I, I'm not going to be affected by him. Let me see what he's trying to say. But as soon as he sees him, he'll fall for it. In fact, someone will say that let me go and talk to Dajjal and invite him, give him da'wah. So he will go to give him da'wah and rather than converting him, the child will convert him. And this movie says, he will convert or con you. And this is there. In the child's case, he's going to either convert you or con you. So this movie is converting you or is conning you. Why get conned? Why get converted from your deen, your iman? You know you're on haq. You know you're doing the true thing. Then why be distracted by such movies? There are a lot of craze going on out there. Allah knows what's going to happen. We're going through some severe tests and trials and fitness. May Allah protect us.